everybody how you doing uh, you're stuck with me today Vince has been real busy uh, all day and he had a lot of stuff to do tonight so I told him I'd throw one of these on what you're looking at is I've been working on this for a long time back in the uh, mid 70s I filmed this stuff right here of me interviewing a famous artist he's the guy Virgil Ross he did uh, Bugs Bunny for uh, 40 years he uh, did uh, stuff with Ralph Bakshi Ralph Bakshi was the guy that did the uh, Mighty Mouse and then he was banned from doing Mighty Mouse because he did all those little nasty fractured fairy tales This guy right here you're looking at his name is uh, Virgil Ross. He's a pretty cool guy and uh, The truth about it is he's a really nice guy. Of course. He's gone now. He's pretty 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 old uh, He was old there, but a real nice guy that's in his uh, basement in Burbank, California uh, me and him were getting together. He was a nobody uh, as far as money went. They didn't pay those guys a lot of money. I mean, he did okay. Warner Brothers was cheap on what they paid him. But uh, he became very famous later on uh, as he got older, naturally, like with most artists. But he's the one that made uh, Bugs Bunny dance. Uh, not just Bugs Bunny, Porky Pig, and all the other characters also. Uh, one day, he was telling me about how Bugs Bunny got his name they were trying to compete with uh, Mickey Mouse so they all drew a they all drew a bunny they were gonna do a bunny and uh, they come up with one they looked at it and everybody thought that this was the best one and somebody said hey whose uh, bunny is that and uh, somebody said that's a uh, uh, Hardaway Bugs Hardaway that's Bugs's money so he become Bugs money now what I've been doing is putting this together. I'm going to be uh, marketing some of this. It's a real entailed story. It involves uh, a case where I had to sue somebody, and uh, it got to be real nasty, to be honest with you. <coughs> Pardon me. But uh, I did okay with it. I won, and uh, I got the artwork, and a lot of this stuff is uh, half of it. Uh, I have, and uh, the other half, uh, it's at the museum the Warner Brothers Museum but uh, they were pretty good with me and this guy was really great I really like this guy and uh, I'll get into it a little deeper later on but I wanted to share a little of this with you this is the guy I was talking about I'm gonna speed it up and uh, let you see some of it and uh, as we're speeding it up these are uh, his own personal creations in his basement in Burbank my goodness look how fast we were moving then and uh, that other guy was a friend of mine his name was uh, Russell. The guy on the right there looks like a shadow. Then there's a famous auctioneer in the background. And uh, you'll hear his name uh, when we let this go a little bit. But it is kind of interesting. Of course, it isn't all speeded up like it's talked about. I'm trying to find something to stop. Oh, there it is. Those, those are all movie stars. Uh, all the movie stars of that era. And he's describing who it is. I don't have sound. Because there's music in the background, I'm not sure if that's uh, okay or not. So I didn't want to do that. Then it goes on. It shows uh, uh, just all of the stuff that he personally did. And then it shows uh, Fritz, uh, Fritz the Cat. shows uh, Crazy Cat. And uh, all the different people that he had done. It's really kind of an uh, amazing character. He did a lot of that. That's a nice one right there. Uh... That right there was really nice. I remember that one. He did this right here. It's a, the guy was just fabulous. He was one of the better artists that ever lived. If you look him up, you'll see that. Uh, I really liked him. He's going to turn this around and show it, and I'm going to stop it so you can see it, and then I'm going to let you go. You're probably tired of listening to me already. Then me and Vince will do another one for you next week. This gives you an idea. Uh, this guy was really great. Bugs Bunny. I'm going to get into that in depth. I'm going to tell the story. and Actually, I've got somebody going to handle it that's going to be sold on uh, DVD. And it's going to tell the whole story because it entails a lot of big people and uh, a lot of con guys that tried to swindle me. Uh, well, I don't know if it's going to sell big, but it's kind of interesting. It's a real interesting story. And it goes into the attorneys that I had. I had some pretty big uh, name attorneys. And uh, involved with some pretty big names that everybody that's uh, listening here would uh, 
recognize. Anyway, this is that one. I had talked about this before. I'd never got to show any of this before. But uh, that's Virgil Ross. And uh, he was uh, quite a guy. Uh, I'm going to let you go now. So everybody, I wish I could have showed you a few more. But uh, I didn't. Oh, this is a little character from the tw uh, 30s and 40s. There's a little monkey too. Anyway, going to let you go. Uh, talk to you later. Bye.